after those long dark nights Now my world is bright Islam is my sight Now I found the light After those long dark nights Now my world is bright Islam is my sight Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to a new episode of The Straight Path. I'm your host, Fuad Muhammad. The last episode, we spoke about the importance of hijra, what's the real meaning of hijra, and how we can inculcate hijra in today's, today's uh, world, and how do we understand hijra when compared to the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Today, we'll continue in talking more about hijra and how we can the situation of the Muslims, how we can inculcate hijra in today's world, in today, in the, into the Western countries where Muslims are living. We're still talking to Dr. Muhammad Naim Sa'i, and uh, after many of the requests, we, I would just like to read a couple of things about him so that you would understand that it's not just a normal pe person speaking about this important topic which many Muslims have so many doubts about today. Um, he is a recognized Muslim scholar, philosopher, and thinker. He was born in Syria and raised in Damascus, where he studied uh, on the most of the uh, grand scholars there in Damascus. Also, he's the holder of the banner of receiving and renewing Islam through his lectures and publications in the progress of establishing global, glo global movement of revival and renewal. He is also a professor of Islamic law and its sciences at the American Open University School of, the Sh of Sharia and also Usul al-Din, which is in the bachelor's, master's and doctorate programs. He is also the member of the Assembly of Muslim Jurists in the United States of America. He is also a member of the Permanent Fatawa Committee, one of which the Muslim World League and Islamic Consultants from 1987 to 2001. He's also the thesis and uh, thesis supervisor for master's and doctorate degrees at the American Open University. He's also the chairman of the, the thesis and curriculum uh, committees at American Open University. He's also the former dean of the graduate studies of Islamic University. He's also an expert in Muslim uh, youth affairs and he's the holder as well, mashallah, of the fourth degree of black belt in Taekwondo. So it's quite fascinating, mashallah. He's also an expert in the Quran, in Quranic Tajweed and recitation. He also lectures in various American universities, and he also gives lectures about Islam and about topics as which we're discussing today in both English and Arabic. Dr. Muhammad Sa'i, welcome to the Straight Path. It's really a pleasure for us to have you again. Um, also, we also have with us today Brother Muhammad Farooq, who is, works in the field of trading. Um, Without further ado, uh, Doctor, the last um, episode we did talk about the meaning of hijra, and we also talked about the essence we learned from the, 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 the hijra, the migration of the companions to Habasha, to Medina. And also you classified the hijra as being, some of, some of the hijra was classified as being optional and recommended while some were compulsory. Um, just at the end of the last episode, we were talking about the situations of the Muslim. And, I was, and the question was, how do we bring the idea, an idea such as hijra, to a Muslim community who's living in the present situation that they're living today in the West? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Rabbil shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri. Wa ahmil uqdata min lisan yafqahu qawli. Ija' kalamana, niyatina, aqwalana, af'alana kulla khalisatan yujah kareem. برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين آمين اللهم آمين. We're talking about the importance of mutual repentance to Allah سبحانه وتعالى. And always I have the the belief that if we start the work of changing, we should start from ourselves. Yes. So if we say that Muslim need to repent, we said first person need to repent the one who is speaking. So let us say that we have to uh, beginning or to begin with ourselves. Make repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we know even we, we intend uh, to make that trip or that move uh, 
uh, for the sake of him, sometimes might be disturbed by, by some uh, personal interest. Yes. Some kind of maybe of the uh, losing our concentration on the sincerity toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So all of us, we say, Astaghfirullah. Oh Allah, if we made anything in this life, because uh, supposedly we are Muslims, uh, assuming that we are understanding what, what our mission in this, in this land, in this earth, in this life, قُلْ إِنَّ صَلَاتِي وَنُسُكِي وَمَحْيَايَ وَمَاتِ اللَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Right? وَمَا خَلَطُ الْجِنَّ وَإِنْسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ So, we are living here to be worshippers, to be sincere toward Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything has to be dedicated for that cause. Mm. If we uh, have some shortage of that, if we have some lack of that, نَقُولْ أَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهِ الْعَظِيمِ And then we uh, try to renew our intention. If we did not make it well, go mm -hmm. to the first stage, now we are saying, oh Allah, we are here in the Western countries, not for our own interest, not to enjoy our life uh, only, but first of all, to be in the status of the ambassadors, carrying the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and having the same cause of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum, warda. Mm. This is for myself, for everyone, for the whole Muslim living in the uh, Western countries, or living anywhere they have left their, their, their country for, for any cause, for any reason. Now let us go back and concentrate a little bit about the Muslim situation in the Western countries or in the place where they have migrated to, just to try to, after seeing the symptoms mm -hmm. or seeing the case we have, we could now apply some solutions yes. to it, right? Our goal not to uh, target Muslims, or to put them in, in the corner, or to uh, accuse them, or to make them uh, a subject of our maybe uh, analysis, as mm -hmm. if that we are a perfect people. Never. Yes. We are part of them. If they have problem, we are part of that problem. Mm -hmm. If we have any kind of, of like uh, disaster uh, going on in, in Western countries because Muslims, we are part of, of that disaster. So we are just trying to study ourselves, mm -hmm. to try to... Uh, apply some solutions, inshallah, to change uh, our condition into better condition, inshallah. What yeah. we are seeing in, in, in the Western countries, in the field of uh, business, in the field of education, in the field of families, in the field of uh, uh, media, in the field of politics, uh, in the field of family, we can see many broken families among Muslim communities. Because of what? Because not the first priority in their life was the same priority of the Sahaba radiallahu anhu mm -hmm. to educate their kids, mm -hmm. take them to the centers, Islamic centers, to the mosque, teach them Al-Quran al kareem We have many Muslims that they, they, they got lost because their parents, they have no time for them. Mm -hmm. They are making good money, mashallah ta'ala. They don't have enough time for their kids to sit with them, educate them, and teach them about the Quran and Kareem, about the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If you pick up now the, the new generation, this is the most maybe uh, horrible things going on in, in the West right now. If you pick up any uh, young Muslim from Muslim communities, generally speaking, now you have good people, but generally speaking, and ask them about the name of that basketball star, he will answer you, or give you like full biography about that person. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes maybe about that singers, male or female, they will answer you. If you ask the same person, the same young man about that Sahabi or that companion, he has even no answer mm. or very little maybe information about him. But about the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, we have the, the same uh, tragical, tra tragical maybe answer sometimes mm. because of, of not uh, taking care of our families in the Western countries. Doctor, uh, uh, is it available? for uh, uh, the new generation, that uh, the second generation for the immigrants to get Islamic uh, uh, education in uh, the Western countries? Wallahi well, subhanAllah, um, Brother Muhammad, he lived in, 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 uh, in his state of America for a couple of years. Mm. Yes. Uh, I, I say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because he is so merciful, so generous, mm. And he knows the importance of the deen Allah accepted for this ummah. Allah creates, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah provides Muslims with mm -hmm. the reasons of the protection of their deen. Now, wherever you go 
in the West, United States, Britain, France, Belgium, Islamic centers, mosques. People are there to teach people, educate them. You have courses, you have lectures, you have imams, you have khatib. So the possibility, the capability uh, are there. Just need the, the parents to focus on this and make a special time from their time for their kids. It's not enough to take them to the centers to learn. They have mm -hmm. to spend some time with their families inside their homes. Mm -hmm. So going back to the, uh, just analyzing what, what you are seeing in, in the West, families need a lot of work. Uh, business, uh, if you try to study the Muslims' business in, in the West, generally speaking, again, uh, you can see them that they are uh, in the field of very low, very low uh, consuming maybe business. Mm -hmm. They are not in high productive business. Yes. Like factories. They have maybe. not excelled in the business field. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So like gas stations, uh, groceries stores, sometimes unfortunately even uh, unlawful business like alcoholic drinks. Uh, supermarket, they're they selling uh, forbidden uh, product uh, from Islamic uh, law point of view. Mm. But generally speaking, the business Muslims are making there is not like high business. To make some kind of like advantage to their existing in the West, mm. to make some advantage to their identity in the West. Mm. They are not sharing, really, yes. uh, and something to be very appealed, very known. Like other people, they are coming from, from different countries to make some like a new brand. Mm -hmm. uh, of cars, like to make like a new brand of like jet fighters, maybe a, a plane or, 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 or cars or, or, or anything like this. Mm -hmm. They are not in the, in the field of like manufacturing things like high, uh, uh, heavy in, industrial uh, pr uh, product. They are always in, in that low class business. Generally speaking. Generally speaking. Generally mm -hmm. speaking. Mm -hmm. If you go to like the education field, mm -hmm. we have physicians, we have engineering, uh, we have. Uh, uh, every kind of, 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 of uh, uh, field regarding the universities, college, and all of this. Mm -hmm. But I'm always asking myself, where is, where is, or where are Muslim scientists? We have some of them, yes. Farooq al-Baz, mashallah ta'ala, and some other people, Jawina, and something like this. But it is not a phen phenomenon, mm -hmm. uh, as used to be a long time ago. Yes. Muslims, they are physicians, yes. They are engineers, yes. But most of them, they finish that level of education, open clinics, hospitals, maybe, mm -hmm. uh, for, for business uh, cause, mm -hmm. and that's it. Yes. Or maybe company to make, uh, run some, some properties, or buy or sell, or build some, uh, some maybe developing some, some areas. But I'm, I'm saying to the Muslims, this is not the same spirit Muslims they used to have when they moved from land into other land, mm -hmm. because they are not understanding really. Mm -hmm. uh, they are not aware about the, the big mission they have in their shoulders when they are moving from their countries to the Western countries. Yes. The Sahaba, they, they got this understanding. Why and their, their generation, their children, their, their grandsons, uh, wherever they go, they said, we are, we are the people of the Amana, we are the people of the trust. The reputation itself. Right? Yeah. So w when they have that feeling, it is not just enough for them to eat and, 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 and drink and have some business to support themselves and their families. They were holding the banners of the Islamic reputation. So how they could announce for, for themselves mm -hmm. if they become like a normal people? Yes. They have to be very unique people. Yes. That's why all of us, we remember the history, right? Yes. Who, who gave the, the, the keys of the no, no. Uh, civilization for, for, for Europe? Muslim scientists, right? Yes. Originally, yes. Right? Muslim yes. scholars in every field. That's what we are seeing uh, Muslims are not doing right now. And that's what we are calling them to do, the opposite, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, in the field of like education, universities, college, making some kind of schools, Generally speaking, mm -hmm. you have some little, good, uh, very good quality Islamic schools. But very, very... But very little. Yes. What is the reason? Mm -hmm. The reason is very simple. Because we have this kind of, of uh, mentality. Mm -hmm. Muslims still have this mentality. It's not Islamic mentality. It is like, as I said, cultural mentality. would like to get result with minimum effort, with minimum reasons with a minimum maybe uh, costs yes, yes. and, 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 and uh, expense or, or maybe expenses. Mm -hmm. Know that the, the right thing is the opposite. You'd like oh, to get no, no. good things, you have to spend. You have to prepare. It's not just for, for, for that 
cause for that field. This is Islamic philosophy. If you'd like to make just one cup, one cup uh, of, of, of tea to make it, you have to make it very well, right? Yes. If you'd like to draw for now and it's just a picture, you have to do it very well. In the Rahab Hadoum, the Hamal Hanan, and you'll to perfect your job is within the Islamic philosophy, right? So this is what we don't have it in, in the West, unfortunately. So we don't have like a good, uh, they call it comparative or competitive uh, institute, college or schools or, or, or maybe uh, some other uh, academic uh, project. Mm -hmm. We have very little, yes. but not at the same level of like public even schools. We are not able to com compete with public schools in our Islamic schools. Very little examples we have, but generally speaking, we don't have this. Uh, Islamic uh, universities, uh, we live in, in, in America. We don't have till now one Islamic university to compete with the lowest maybe level of the any American universities. SubhanAllah. Because we have that mentality. So this is like the, our situation there. And all of this, I said, all of this, like in the field of, of, of social, family, uh, social field or maybe academic field mm -hmm. or business field, uh, media field. In America till now, even America, America is like big countries, billions of dollars to be spent in, in, in many active many activities. We don't have a strong, strong Muslim channel in America. We don't have that like to, to compete with like a public uh, ABCs or, or, or CBS channels. Where are Muslims' money? Where are Muslims' uh, effort? Where are Muslims like thinking and, and planning? And Which and media and does, does they play a big role in, in, in this world? And it's not like the Muslims are out of money. No, they, they, have, they, they do have money. But they don't have that kind of, of mentality or that kind of maybe thinking. And I said all of this, all these negative maybe pictures mm -hmm. to reflect on the, the, the whole idea of what did motivate us to move from land into other land. Inshallah, we'll try to answer that question, doctor, in the second segment. We'll take a short break here on the straight path and we'll be back right after this. Now my world is bright. Islam is my sight. Is Islam is my alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back. You're watching The Straight Path. Today's topic, Hijra and the true meaning and how we can inculcate it in today's world. We're still talking to Dr. Muhammad Sa'i, who is a professor at various Islam, uh, American universities. And we'll still have with us Brother Muhammad Farooq. Um, just before we went to the break, you were just mentioning about the Muslims not excelling in even in business, in education. And, and generally speaking, they have not really expelled. They have not really planted a firm foot towards um, showing and express, expressing the true meaning of Islam in every perspective. Um, so what is it the Muslims are doing in the West? SubhanAllah, as we said uh, uh, before the break, that the whole problem uh, came out of this uh, negative understanding of the meanings of our existing, then everything reflects on that uh, uh, negative meaning or maybe uh, shortage of understanding. If we don't understand, if we don't have the, uh, the, the adoption of being the carrier of the message of Islam mm -hmm. and feeling the importance of being uh, signing on behalf of this deen in every step we are doing in our life. Because whether you accept it or reject it, you are Muslim. And most will recognize you by your name, Ahmad Zaid Abdullah. And even if someone of these people, they said, well, I'm not uh, practicing Islam, mm -hmm. but he is still Muslim. No, he's categorized. Well, like, even if he born there, mm -hmm. And his name is Ahmed and Abdullah, he's still Muslim. So we are looking at you from that angle, from, from that view. Yes. So either you will accept it or reject it, it is there. Mm -hmm. So it's better for you to say, no, I am Muslim, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, not to show off, but to make some progress in this life, to give some gift, mm -hmm. to contribute, something that's benefit the whole mankind. Of course. So Muslim, if they have to regain this understanding, that will fix the whole idea, and that reflect on their reality. Now, 
what is reason behind what we are seeing in the West, addition to what we have said uh, just a, a second ago about the, the lack of understanding of their meaning or that they're existing in, in these Western countries, uh, uh, divisions, dispute, uh, being uh, busy with personal interest, uh, as Allah says, uh, are we united in the West? We are not united in the, in the West. We have many groups, we have many uh, organizations, we have many parties, we have many uh, thought, uh, as if that you are living in the, in, in the Muslim countries. We, mm. we have even transferred our divisions, our maybe dispute from, from, the, West, from the East to the West. Yes. I'm always saying upon Muslims, let mm -hmm. us get united. Mm -hmm. Let us be one, one Ummah, inshallah ta'ala. We have one uh, committee to represent the whole Muslims, and especially through the Islamic law, not the special interest. So all, all this does, does play a big role in uh, showing Muslims in, in, in a very uh, negative uh, appearance, does not help at all to bring that reputation again uh, to the Muslims' uh, 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 reality in the West. Okay, uh, Doctor, after mentioning all of this, um, what are the Muslims of the West supposed to do? MashaAllah. First of all, let us fix the understanding of the meaning of the Hijra mm -hmm. on the mind of the Muslims okay. uh, living in the West. As we know all of us, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Ameen, Brother Muhammad, you have experienced this, right? Yes, I did. From <laughs> the, the two years you have spent in America, mm -hmm. MashaAllah, you have become Muslim good practice Muslim, alhamdulillah. We don't have in our Islam something they call it negative. Mm -hmm. Always we have positive things in Islam. SubhanAllah. Positive thought, mm -hmm. positive move. Just uh, a very quick example. When the Prophet ﷺ was sitting was with saying. his companion one, one time, and then someone approached him that your grandson is about to leave, to pass. SubhanAllah. So your daughter is calling upon you to come and attend. He said, well, go back and command her to show patient and say so and so. And he continued his gathering, Ali Imagine this. Yeah, actually, I'm studying the exact hadith for my, uh, for my exams this year. And I was, it really stunned me that it was his grandson. And he was like, okay, tell her to be patient. Um, so someone might uh, uh, understand this. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, negatively by saying he was so harsh sallallahu alayhi wa no Allah says he was a pure mercy mm -hmm. sallallahu sallallahu alayhi wa but was very very strong signal from the Prophet sallam, don't stop the wheel of this life Subhanallah. and especially if you have something like regarding the whole ummah he was representing at that time not just the father or the, the grandfather was president the, the teacher, the master, the, the, the leaders, the, the king, the khalifa, everything. The prophet, the messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam. He was busy, alayhi salatu wasalam, with something bigger than the, the, the incident of someone passing uh, this life. So go, go ahead and go back and command her to show patience. And he did not leave. Till she sent him once again, then he said, well, it does require me for, to, to just uh, finish this gathering and go and see my grandson. So he made a combination of showing his, his merciful, his soft heart, alayhi salatu wa salam, and his seriousness in this life, and to tell everyone, listen, nothing is going to stop us from being positive people, even death by itself. Death, it is not negative meaning in a Muslim's life and Muslim mind. Death meanings, that means you are about to leave, so work harder and harder, inshallah ta'ala. So let us now go back to the migration and say to the Muslims, even if we have very bad maybe picture about Muslims in the West, including myself, mm -hmm. let me say, but it's still, it's still a, a good time to work. Yes. It's still a good time to change. Mm -hmm. It's a good time to go, to go back to the same Sahaba understanding, radiallahu So mm -hmm. what, what should we do? The first thing I, I, I do in, in that regard, I said, uh, my Muslims brothers and sisters, first of all, we have to remind ourselves about some uh, motivation, like historical, psychological, mm -hmm and uh, Islamic motivations. How? We say, first of all, you are not in America or France or Britain strangers. You mm -hmm. are not immigrant. Mm -hmm. You are not foreigners. Yes. You are belong mm -hmm. to the same earth God created, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes. Minha mm -hmm. 
ومنه نخرجكم تارة أخرى You are belong to the same earth the same ground Allah created you سبحانه وتعالى Yes So don't feel lonely mm-hmm. Don't feel that you are stranger Don't feel that you are um, uh, a heavy maybe guest mm-hmm. You are belong to this earth Yes Second Allah سبحانه وتعالى when he assigned Sayyidina Adam to carry the, the mission of Khilafah. Mm-hmm. That was not assigned to him because he was living in, in that country or that place. Yes. So Khilafah does not have anything to do with the geographic, maybe, uh, uh, factor. Wherever you go, you can carry the Khilafah with you. Yes. So remember this, this meaning. Khilafah does not uh, maybe uh, blocked by geographic, maybe, place. Mm-hmm. So wherever you go, to America, to France, to Britain, carry the same mission of Sayyidina Adam, your father. Yes. Now look at this understanding, or Muslim understanding. Instead of carrying our father's Adam sin, mm-hmm. we are carrying our Adam father mission. Mm-hmm. What is the positive meaning here in Islam? Others, they are carrying the sin of their father. Mm-hmm. So they are uh, uh, blocked. They are maybe bombarded by, by the, the old sin. Yes. They are cornered by, by the old sin. Mm-hmm. They yes. are uh, having that concern mm-hmm. and that maybe uh, uh, big thing about the, 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 the original sin. We said, no. Mm-hmm. We are carrying the same uh, mission of our father's Adam, Al Khilafah. It does not matter if you are in America, in Egypt, or France, or Britain, or Indonesia. You are the same person, are able and qualified to carry the okay. same. Okay, I, I, I just want to take you back a bit, doctor, if you don't mind. Um, what you have said there is beautiful. But remember, we're coming back to the Muslims who have not excelled, generally speaking, as you said, have not excelled, even in the understanding of their own religion. Right? How do we put the idea of of these Islamic ideas into their head? How do we do it? Through scholars, through dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, through uh, TV programs like this, inshallah, azawajal, where uh, satellite channels has become uh, available for for every Muslim. Mm-hmm. But a personal effort has to be to be there, inshallah ta'ala. Going uh, to their uh, towns and, the, and cities and make lectures and now it's for like uh, seminars. So education. Mm-hmm. We have to educate Muslims about these great meanings, inshallah ta'ala. So if we can uh, let them carry these meanings, remind mm-hmm. them about these great meanings and just make them feel comfortable that you are not strangers, you are not foreigners. Plus we tell these people, remember, that you are not the first people to, to be to be landed in that land. Your grand grand maybe uh, fathers were there, even before Christ of Columbus. Yes. Before anyone else, mm-hmm. Muslim they used to be like in, in the east of France, yes. the east of, of, of Italy, right? Mm-hmm. Sicily. Yes. If you look at the history of, of Sicily, mm-hmm. Sicilia was belong Muslims long time ago. Subhanallah. Cyprus belong mm-hmm. Muslim to long time ago from the first century. Mm-hmm. So Muslim they were Andalusia. Yeah. Subhanallah. I was actually reading an article in uh, about Mexico, that the Muslims were there 600 years. Uh, they, the same time Andalus fell, uh, fell, most of the Muslims migrated towards Mexico and Brazil and Argentina. That's, that's why you can find so many Muslim names in these places, but they don't understand why. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Yes, mm. and many, many you know professors now in, in South America they are making. Uh, research about the history of, of this land, the South America and North America, they found a lot, a lot of, of surprising and, and shocking results, you know. So we, we tell Muslims, you are belong to this, mm-hmm. and you were here before. Mm-hmm. So feel comfortable, relax. Mm-hmm. But that does not mean that Muslims, they should uh, relax and feel comfortable to play the same role mm-hmm. of like normal people. I'm just uh, trying to uh, cl- qualify them to mm-hmm. carry the mission, inshallah ta'ala. Okay, okay. So, Doctor, um, if we can look at now today's world of the word, the word Hijra, what do we understand Hijra to th- in today's world? Good. Where do we migrate from where to where? Good, good. Mm-hmm. First thing we have to say, Hijra was not, and it shouldn't be mm-hmm. at any time, uh, a meaning of uh, weakness, of backward, of uh, uh, de- the depression. Mm-hmm or uh, some kind of, of uh, uh, lack of, of hope mm-hmm. or belief or faith, it is the opposite. When the Sahaba moved from Mecca to Medina, it was the move of someone believing that he is able to make it somewhere else. 
You know when, when someone is like a farmer mm -hmm. and he tried in that land to put some seed and he's not able to uh, be a successful farmer in that land, the strong farmer, mm -hmm. the faithful farmer, the one who has the um, uh, ambition and he's able always uh, to make it work, believing in, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and God subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, well, if it did not work in that land, I will do in different land. Yes. He will take his seed and, and his tools and do and go and do it in different land. This is the meaning one of the of the hijrah. Mm -hmm. The Sahaba cannot make it in Makkah Mukarramah within their families. Even the, the, the Prophet himself, Ali he said, Al no problem. This is the the, the the positive meaning. Go and do it somewhere else. I be with you. So this positive meaning, first of all, inshallah. Second, when you are going from place to another place, you are carrying with you what you believe in. You are carrying with you your Islam. So carrying the uh, the message of La ilaha illallah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and mm. feeling that you are a strong person you are going to, to turn that experience from being bad experience to be a good one inshallah ta'ala uh, from being a failure person in your own country to be a victorious uh, person in the different land this is like positive meanings will create that uh, impression and that thought and that understanding uh, and that f faith and belief to make Muslim able now to go into the field of working and practicing, inshallah ta'ala. So that has to be in the mind of Muslims, the meaning of the hijra. So hijra means if you'd like to move from land to another land, make it first of all a good move, good step mm -hmm. for the sake of Allah subhanahu ta'ala, for benefit of Muslims, for benefit of the whole Muslim uh, mankind. This is another point here, mm -hmm. right? You see Muslims in, in, in America, right? Now, I said the duties or responsibilities of the hospitality. Combination of being comfortable person, not feeling that you are stranger or foreigners, mm -hmm. and feelings and believing that you are a guest. You've been hospitalized very well. They were doing very good to you. They opened the gate for you to, to migrate to France and Britain and Belgica and, and Italy and United States of America. How you combine between these two things appears to be like contradictive. No. When you feel that someone has uh, treated you good, you have to instead to retain that favor, right? So I said to Muslims, it's time to uh, pay these people back, to retain their favor with, with something better than that. What is better than saying, I'm bring it with me. What is the reason of your happiness here and hereafter? Can you bring something more valuable than this? Of course not. If even you spend like billions of dollars, some uh, stupid, uh, sorry to say that, stupid people, they are bringing millions of, of dollars with them to the Western countries, billions of dollars in the Western countries to make casinos and make some, some kind of night clubs, make some maybe uh, cassette uh, songs companies, as if that they are helping, they are maybe cooperating with the Western people. They are not doing anything. But I said, no. The most valuable gift to the West, after they have treated us very well, opened the gate for us to, 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 to smell uh, our human uh, beings uh, entity, saying, we would like to very proudly, very proudly, mm -hmm. bringing with us our Islam. Inshallah, we'll continue on that same point there, Doctor, but we'll take a short break here on the straight path and we'll be back, Inshallah, right after this. Now my world is bright, my world is bright, Islam is my sight. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back, you're watching the straight path. We're talking about the real and true meaning of hijrah. We're still talking to Dr. Mohammed Saif, who is a professor at various universities, American universities in the field of Islamic law. Um, doctor, just before we went to the break, you were just mentioning that what, is, what, what can be a more beautiful way of expressing the gratitude, that's the Muslims, by sharing what would benefit the Westerners in both uh, the world and the hereafter. But of course, this is only a small group of Muslims who are really qualified to do this. What about the group of Muslims who are just there? What do they do? Is it advice for them to leave? Well, you know, uh, I can see that uh, it is very simple 
-hmm. It's very strong, mm -hmm. very superior in its result. If you tell Muslims, regardless of their uh, level of education or level maybe of, of uh, uh, practicing of this Islam, uh, is it uh, possible for all of you just to be a Muslim? Just be a Muslim. Mm -hmm. Wherever you are in the Western countries, be a Muslim. What Islam tells you to do, just do. You don't have to be like a very educated person. A very uh, uh, knowledgeable person, but just act as a Muslim, as a real Muslim. People, they, they see you. People, they will be affected with you. But suppose some people, they don't want to practice Islam. They don't believe uh, originally in, in, in their mission as a Muslims carrying this mission. That's what I said. These kind of people, if they have a choice to go back to their Muslim countries, if they are corrupting al Islam in the Western countries, they are not benefiting the mankind. Mm -hmm. while they're existing there, it's better for them to leave and go back to the, the place they have uh, came from. But those who they are understanding these meanings are very, very uh, useful people, uh, very uh, valuable people. You know, after the 9-11, I gave a speech mm -hmm. in the mosque, and one American lady was attending the, the khutbah. She was not a Muslim. Mm -hmm. After 9-11, mm -hmm. I said, literally, it is a fortune for America to have a good Muslims here. Mm -hmm. America will be lucky to have a good Muslims when I said of America. Mm -hmm. But I said, if they are good Muslims, America will be very proud having a good Muslims in it. Mm -hmm. That they become Muslims later on. After two weeks, she become Muslim. Allah. Because we believe in that. Mm -hmm. Wherever we meet people there, we tell them this. You are a very lucky people to mm -hmm. have good Muslims here in America. Mm -hmm. Because Allah is sending them to you. You don't have to go them. And it's another thing Muslims they have to think about it. You did not go by your will. As if to be by your will to go to America or France or Britain or Italy or maybe uh, any place in, in the world. Because to gain some, some more money. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has carried you and pushed you and make it up for you, subhanahu wa ta'ala, to carry this Islam with you. Because in the stage where Muslims, they have lost their, uh, maybe uh, their influence, their state, uh, their kingdom, mm -hmm. uh, that effect used to have long time ago. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to spread his word, subhanahu wa ta'ala. يُظْهِرَهُ عَلَى الدِّينِ كُلِّهِ Allah chose some people. People, they don't appear to be a good carrier for this Islam. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring them, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Will make a, a, a reasons for them to move from Egypt, from Lebanon, from Syria, from Morocco, from uh, Bangladesh, from, from India, from Pakistan, and go. You will go to France, you will go to Britain, you will go to the United States of America. To himself, he's going there to have more education. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you to be a different person to carry his message with you. And you are doing that, alhamdulillah, Rabbil I mean, Wallahi. Mm. Everyone in, in America, everyone in, in, in Europe is carrying with him the message of Islam. And Islam being uh, a, a big factor. Islam is, is, is doing some, some impact on the people there. Some people, they like it, some people, they don't like it. But it is, it is there. Mm -hmm. So it's better now to understand our nature, our mission, and use it and utilize our, everything we have, inshallah ta'ala, to go in that route. Inshallah. So I have a question which is, uh, what is the masjid or the mosque's rule in my mission uh, if I'm a Muslim staying uh, uh, in uh, Western countries? Well, subhanAllah, I, uh, I always believe that uh, mosque in, in Europe, mosque in, in, uh, in, in the West in general, does have a big role in uh, announcing for this deen, mm -hmm. uh, advertising for our Islam. But if we kept the combination of the outer and the inner of that mosque and masjid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If we keep the beauty, architecture, you know, the Islamic uh, art of building mosques is historically, is academically, scientifically been uh, everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. As a certificate of, of perfection. Yes. So if we can, you know, perfect the outer of the masjid, perfect inner of the masjid, like if people are running the masjid, qualified people, the one who is giving the, 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 the speech, the one who is leading the prayer, 
qualified persons. How many among Muslims inside the mosque? They are reflecting on the unity outside. They are bringing some people from outside to show them Al-Islam. And that's what is going on, alhamdulillah, Rabbi, in many mosques, many Islamic centers. Mm -hmm. And then Muslims are coming to the, the, the mosque and center to see Muslims, how they are praying, mm -hmm. how they are breaking their, their fast in Ramadan. So if we can able, inshallah, to try to uh, use and take it as advantage for us, having mosques in, in America, it will be a big factor for changing, inshallah. Okay, so what, what, what I s summarize from what you just said, uh, Doctor, is that, is that there are two groups of Muslims. The, the group that is able to spread the, the message, able to stand to be good Muslims, and the group that are not so effective. And you were saying that it is advisable for that group who doesn't benefit in, in both ways to better to return to their roots. Right? But we see the ph phenomenon that, that, that a great percentage of those who are remigrating are the people who have lived most of their lives in, in these places, but their kids are still there. So... What's the sense of their migration? No, we don't say that people that you should leave, you know, Muslim countries and leave their kids there, you know, mm -hmm. uh, from Islamic law point of view. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, my question, if you didn't get it, is that when exactly does the family migrate? Is it when it's over or it's... The opposite migration, you say? Yes, when they remigrate back to Muslim countries. Oh, right. At what stage of the family? Because we see most of the people in their 50s, 60s, these are the people who come back to the Muslim countries when their kids are all grown and into society. They're in, 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 in Western My advice countries. to the Muslim families in, in, in the West, generally speaking, mm -hmm. whoever felt that he is not able to hold uh, to his Islam, mm -hmm. he is not able to protect his, his kids and his children, mm -hmm. and he's able to do that in the Muslim countries, mm -hmm. and he feels safe, uh, in, in the Muslim country uh, about his wealth, about his uh, health, about his money, properties, he should go. Okay, should I'll, go I'll ask a question that is normally asked when this topic comes up. They would say, but I'm so settled in America, my business is all flowing, Good. I don't know what my future would hold if I go back to a Muslim country. How do we answer this? How do we convince the Muslims? And as Brother Farouk, what is the role of the mosque in, in towards con the conviction of these Muslims? Well, if that Muslim uh, believes in God and he's supposed to be among the believers, he knows that rizq, uh, sustain, is, is from God, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He should not concern about this issue because God has promised, subhanahu wa ta'ala, mm -hmm. that everyone born, born with his share of his, the sustain of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, rizq. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are not sure about our hereafter. We are not sure about our destiny. We are not sure about paradise of we having a seed reserved for us or having a seed in the hellfire, God, God forbid. Mm -hmm. But we are definitely sure about our rizq. How should we concern about our rizq, not concern about our deen? So that family should be concerned about the deen of their children. And if they have enough sufficient uh, tools uh, to cover their expenses in the Muslim countries, and they are safe, alhamdulillah, mm -hmm. there's no fear about their religion, uh, their properties, they should go back. But those who they are able to benefit themselves and benefit others by being in, in the West and uh, in the Western countries, these people are able to uh, utilize and change the whole, uh, uh, maybe, uh, impact of the Muslims there in the Western countries. And we call upon these people to try to make it better and better, inshallah, Azza wa And now after seeing all of this, I am the person who always believes in hope. Mm -hmm. I believe in Muslims. Mm -hmm. Wallahi, I believe that Muslims, they have <laughs> the big, wallahi al-azim, <laughs> capabilities yeah. of bringing back the, 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 the gold days in the yeah. West and in the East. We have the, the, the same, maybe sometimes, maybe story. Even in the East, we have yeah. some problems here. But I believe in this ummah. Because yeah. I, I, I did... Uh, lived with Muslims. I socialized with them. Uh, maybe knowledgeable people, uh, very low knowledge people, good practice, non good practice Muslims, but all of them are eligible, inshallah. Ta but is it a sacrifice to immigrate to a Muslim country? Yes. It is a sacrifice. Many people, they have but done Allah it. Allah is a sustainer and he... You know. But l l let me tell you this. Okay. What, we are, what, what we say right now, it is not like someone has uh, uh, finished his, his, his need at the market and then leave or left. Mm -hmm. We don't say that. We don't believe in that. We don't uh, say to the Muslims, just be the most beneficial of being in the West, get what you need and leave. We don't say that. Mm -hmm. Because land 
that has adopted you, has accepted you, that have a right upon you. Mm-hmm. So we said, Muslims, you have a right, you have to do it back to the Western countries. At least, at least the same years you have spent in America or France or Belgica, getting from the benefit of these countries, you have to spend the same years if you are able to be safe on yourself, uh-huh. on your dean, on your children. Mm-hmm. You have to pay back. You have to pay back these people. Good reputation, good Islam, good behavior, inshallah ta'ala, honesty, sincerity. And they try to just give an example that how Muslims are, are so faithful. Mm-hmm. The Sahaba, Allah, were not these kind of people. They just uh, move from land to other land and take the best of it and leave behind them the worst of them. We mm-hmm. are doing that, unfortunately. Muslims, in some, some cases, they are giving to these Western countries the worst of them after taking back the best out of this country. Okay. We said no. Doctor, we have about one minute remaining for the episode. Uh, if we look through the very first part of our and, and this episode, and I would like to take the opportunity because we will be traveling back, inshallah. Um, what do we sum up the whole idea of hijrah in one minute? I know it's, <laughs> it's, it's a big ask. And how, what, how, does, how should a Muslim react to this uh, statement of al-hijrah? We can say very uh, briefly, turn it to be a positive move in your life. Make it a big investment for you in hereafter by making it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay. Remember the mission of being ambassador to this deen, inshallah, azza wa jal. Remember the hadith of the Prophet, alayhi wa sallam, li'an yahdi Allah bika rajul wahidan, khayrun lakum atalat alayhi shams. Just one man to be guided by your condition, by your practice of this deen, might be better than the whole things Allah created subhanahu wa ta'ala. I believe that Muslims are able to do that again, inshallah, azza wa jal, bring the good reputation for Islam, benefit the whole mankind, inshallah, azza wa jal, and pay back these Western people some of what they have given us in return. May Allah accept, inshallah. I mean, I mean, Jazakha khair, Dr. Muhammad Sa'i, and Jazakha khair, Brother Muhammad Farooq, that's the Dr. Muhammad Sa'i there from the United States of America, the professor of Islamic law at various American universities, sharing his thoughts and advices to Muslims living in the West and what's the meaning of hijrah in today's world. Well, if you have any questions for the doctor or if you have any comments about the show today, please feel free to write to us at straightpath at huda.tv. And if you have any comments for us at, uh, in terms of how can we um, we can in, improve the straight path and what would you like to see some of the topics send us that email inshallah straight path at huda.tv until next time assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh now I found the light after those long dark nights now my world is bright Islam is my sight now I found Islam is my sight, now my world is bright. Islam is my sight, now my world is bright. Islam is my sight, Islam is my sight.